what does right human relations mean? It has three levels that I'd like to look at. The first one is that you relate on the physical, emotional, and mental level the right way to bring out the best in your life and the lives of others. So I'm going to talk about us and everybody else. That means food, health, shelter, emotional well-being, love, nurturing, parenting, friendship, okay, education, opportunities to evolve and work and make money, abundance of all sorts. So these are the physical human kingdom level of right human relations. We have to look at that first in ourselves. Do we nurture that in us? Do we give opportunities to ourselves to grow and expand, to learn, to emotionally feel one? Do we have that link to ourselves of what we really need? To the last minute of our life, we should be growing. We should be learning. We should be changing. We should really see the value in it. It is so sad for me to see older people when they say, been there, done that, I don't care anymore. And then what joy when I see older people. When I mean older, it's 90 and above, OK? <laughs> As I get to be over 60, it's like, uh, that's not old anymore. <laughs> so 90, and then when I'm 80, I'll say 100 and above. Yeah. That's really nice. 100 and above. Um, whatever age that you never stop growing, you never stop learning, you never stop applying the teaching to give birth continuously to your true self. At whatever degree, slowly, slowly bring that out. So that's the first, that we nurture that in us. We do the best to take care of our physical, emotional, and mental world. And then we apply that to others. There's a deep psychology here. The way we treat others is the way we are really treating ourselves. Okay, Really think about that. When you see how you see other people in whatever, good, bad, and different in the middle, it's really the way you're seeing yourself. This is really profound. Really think about that and see where you are in the way you nurture your physical, emotional, and mental needs. They're very important and they're the foundation because these three vehicles are your path of expression with other human beings. Now the next right human relation takes us to the higher kingdoms. We need to have relations with the higher worlds, with invisible helpers, and acknowledge and affirm all the help that we get every day from our solar angel, from the prayers and thoughts and well wishes of other people that comes to us energetically through the higher worlds. Through angels, hierarchy, great thinkers, thought forms of benevolence all over the world. So we need to acknowledge and have that relationship consciously with the higher worlds. The third level is with the other kingdoms of nature, to have right human relationships with the mineral, vegetable, animal kingdoms, all of nature. Do you see the holistic approach? You are approaching right human relations holistically. And when we do that, we have conscious cooperation, conscious affirmation, conscious group work because we feel one with everybody, everything. Why is our planet in such dire circumstance? Because we separated ourselves, the human kingdom, from the higher and from the lower. We thought we were the center of life. Well, that philosophy is now slowly, slowly changing. And why? what would motivate us to take care of the planet, to take care of life? is to acknowledge that there is more to life than what we see on the physical, emotional, and mental planes, and more than the human kingdom. So that is just a, a little snapshot of what right human relations means. And during this Virgo period, you can meditate on that. Think what that means to you, and start it from the beginning with yourself. What do I need to increase right human relation with myself? Because how you see yourself is how you're going to see other people. Okay? The second one is to reveal your true self and the self of others is to appreciate fully of your divine origin. Really to appreciate that. Maybe to take time out every morning or at night or the middle of the day or five times a day. That's the five daily discipline of worship. To acknowledge 
your link with the divine. When you do that, you will change. I've seen it. And incidentally, when you see the application of the teaching and how it changes your life to the better, you will then have faith in the process of evolution and change and transformation. People who give up, take their toys and go home, and I don't want to do this anymore, is because they don't see how the teaching really changes life. They don't see it. They've never applied it, not fully applied it. So when we see that we are one with the divine, we are really originally from the divine spark, we will see the formidable potential existing in each of us. Do you realize how much potential you have inside of you? Have you thought about that? Just imagine the potential that you carry. It's like an atomic bomb that's inside of you at every given moment. You have the God essence in you, and to have that in us is really, really important because we will then be able to appreciate and understand and forgive all the ugly states that we've been in and other people have been in. We will be able to understand that. And once you understand your own humanness on the human level and your link to the higher worlds, your God essence, you're going to start seeing life in a much broader, holistic, non-divided way. You're going to see it step by step, how it works, how it changes, how it grows. How can we reveal the higher self in other people and tell them they are children of God when we don't believe it in ourselves? See, you have to be able to say, I believe I am imperfect as I may be at most of the time, but I still have that link and so do you. See, great ones, great teachers always work with people who are imperfect, right? We know that. The great ones go to where the need is, not where everybody's perfect in la-la land, you know, playing music in the higher spheres somewhere. That's not where you'll find the teachers. The teachers are where the need is. So when you see how you transform yourself through these very ugly, needy times, then you will go where the need is, and you will have the patience, the love, the nurturing that it takes to help people, even if you don't see results right away. Because you have that faith inside of you that results will come. Eventually, that prodigal son will wake up and return home. Okay. Now, the third point of revealing your true self and helping others to reveal themselves is to always remember God is the father of everyone. In this day of election time in the United States, the ugliness that we see, the separativeness that we see all over the world, it's very important for us not to get caught up in it. Okay, Very important, because when we get caught up in it, the ugliness will pull us down. It's heavy. Ugliness is heavy energy. Okay. Belittling other people is heavy energy, and we see that. We see that on the internet, on the news, on the talk shows, any little thing. It's as if one little thing is more important, lipstick, pigs, or whatever. Okay, You know what I'm talking about. These things are important, and higher worlds aren't? Do you see where, where humanity can pull us down? So we have, as we remember, the higher, the father of all of us, we will remember that this too shall pass. Just don't get stuck in it. Okay? Don't get stuck in it yourself as an individual. Have mental health and emotional health in your family and practice that by remembering that God is the father of all of us, even all those people who have a problem. Because why? We've had the same issues ourselves on different levels, right? We remember that and we become more forgiving. So if we believe in these three elements, right human relations, that we are a spark of God, that God is the father of all of us, what do we do? We live life accordingly and our true self starts to come out. This is Gita Saradarian, and I would like to thank you for your interest in this video lecture. We have books, booklets, and spiritual study courses on this very topic. Please visit us at tsgfoundation.org for more information on all TSG Foundation products and services. Thank you.